Kathleen, authorities say the investigation of the attacks on the World Trade Center in the Pentagon has turned up thousands of leads. They have identified the hijackers, the suicide bombers, or most of them, and they have determined they were members of several terror cells with links to Osama bin Laden. Investigators are armed with pictures and extensive biographies of the terrorist hijackers. They know several were trained as pilots in Florida and have even linked each terrorist to one of the four jetliners they crashed. That there are 18 hijackers. The number of associates is, uh, is uh, significant. On the uh, American Airlines uh, number 11 uh, flight out of Boston going to LA, there were five, and we believe our preliminary investigation indicates that uh, five of the passengers were involved in the hijacking on that plane. Authorities know all the hijackers boarded as ticketed passengers. Several tickets were bought with a single credit card. They are tracking dozens of accomplices here in the United States, Canada, Europe, and the Middle East, many with links to terrorist leader Osama bin Laden and known terrorist cells. President Bush warned those who sent them and aided them will pay a terrible price. I'm a, I'm a loving guy, and I'm also someone, however, who's got a job to do, and I intend to do it. And um, this is a terrible moment. But this country will not relent until we have saved ourselves and others from the terrible tragedy that came upon America. President Bush calls it the first war of the 21st century. Secretary of State Colin Powell fingered Osama bin Laden as a prime suspect, said when the evidence is in, the U.S. plans... ...to rip the network up, and when we were through with that network, we will continue with a global assault against terrorism in general. Officials and experts say it won't be easy. One problem won't go away soon. We're, we're dealing here with religious fanaticism, and in that set of beliefs, uh, these, t these attackers believe that they have the approval of God. Meanwhile, Congress wants retaliation. Leaders of both parties say they are prepared to give the president the authority to use whatever force he needs and to pay for whatever he needs. Dell? Jim Clark, thank you.